Hey, what's up YouTube? Joe Gass here, and today I'll be reviewing an amazing application for the Mac known as Cinch. Now, some of you are familiar with the Snap to Side-by-Side -side Windows feature that was offered in Windows 7. Although it is not available in the default Mac operating system, you can now have that same feature with the application known as Cinch. The link to download will be in the description. Let's get started with the review. There is no icon for Cinch, but if you notice, there is a menu bar. You can disable it, check about, preferences, or quit. Let's check out the preference pan. Now it's pretty straightforward. You can either enable it, start it at login, show in the menu bar, automatically check for updates. I like to have all that checked in. Alright, but there also is a license for this app. And don't take this like it's a paid application, even though it is. It's really not as you think. It's not a forceful license application, meaning it's not going to say the time is up, you have to pay, and make you qu quit the app until you purchase it. Basically, once your demo reaches out of time, it's just every time you launch your Mac, it's just going to say continue the demo and give you a five second countdown. A little bit annoying. I consider purchasing it, and it is worth every penny. You're about to see why. Alright, so as you can see, I have the Safari window. Let me try out the snap to side. So if I drag it to the left, you'll notice the nice outline. I let go, and there you have it. We could do that with the mail application as well. So now if you notice, as you can see, this is the, t this is the um, uh, what's it called, license countdown. Now as you can see, we are browsing Safari while also looking at our messages which is an amazing feature that you couldn't do before. And also, if you drag it out of the side, it locks back into the normal size you had the window from before. Now, don't think that the side-to-side -side is the only feature, because just as Windows 7 has, you could also make it fit the screen. So if I drag up, as you can see, now it's the whole screen. It's a very nice feature. Now let's try it with something as the settings system preferences. Now as you can see, system preferences isn't a stretchable window. And so watch what happen if you would drag it to the side. Basically it has the cancel. Which is just another great feature. Well guys, that's about it. Nothing too much to review, but just a really nice thing that everyone should have on their Mac. Thanks for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe for more related videos. Have a nice day.